TLC. Baby, 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 your edges, okay? Hey YouTube, what's going on? Super excited for this video. As usual, if you are new to my channel, Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you are here. I'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of Curly Chemistry where I help you guys start hair care lines and I'll also help you guys understand ingredients and products from a cosmetic chemist perspective. And today we are talking about your edges. My edges, your edges. We are talking about our crown, okay? And this is a huge concern for so many of us in the natural hair care community, whether you are trying to hold on to your edges or grow back your edges, either way, okay, this is for you. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the science of this part of our scalp. What makes it different from the other part of our scalp? And what are some prevention methods and some solutions, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so my favorite part, of course, is the science. Let's talk about it. So number one, I want you guys to know that our hair, black hair specifically, we have the lowest amount of elasticity in our hair compared to other nationalities, okay? What does that mean? When I say elasticity, I'm referring to you can, you know, pull the strand of the hair without it breaking. In our case, we can pull our hair, but eventually it's gonna break a lot sooner than other nationalities. And that's just how it is naturally, whether you have black relaxed hair or black natural hair or whatever, okay? So that's number one. Number two, this isn't like scientifically proven, but it's like a huge hypothesis that I have. I personally feel like our edge, our edges, like this part of our, our face, our edge, our scalp, is a weak point, meaning it is a transition of two different types of skin. It's still skin, but our facial skin is different than our scalp skin. And anytime there is a transition or a line of demarcation, there tends to be a little bit of fragility. Fragility? Fragility is fragile, okay? And since that area is fragile, we have to be very cautious of the activity that takes place around the edges, okay? So that's number two. Number three is that our edges, okay, carry the most amount of weight compared to any other part of our scalp. So long story short, our edges really need to be properly and carefully cared for. And this kind of explains why there is such a high number of traction alopecia, follicle damage in our community because, you know, think about the styles that we wear on a daily basis without breaks sometimes. So please keep that in mind. Now let's switch over to some prevention and some solution methods. Number one, there is nothing wrong with braids and twists and, you know, protective styling, whether that's a wig or weave, whatever, whatever, whatever. But when it comes to the style itself, try to leave it in there no longer than eight weeks. I really wanna say six weeks, but four to six weeks, four to eight weeks, the max, okay? Because your scalp is the prerequisite for healthy hair. And if you're not getting to your scalp, if you're not cleansing your scalp, you're gonna have some issues with bacterial infection, fungal infection, product buildup. I mean, the list goes on. So long story short, y'all, four to eight weeks max. Number two, if you're gonna get braids and twists, try to get like medium size. Don't get like the little teeny tiny micro ones because that actually does the most damage because it's so much stress on one little particular hair. You know, it's just it's not worth it, okay? So get some medium to large braids, ideally. Okay, next I wanna mention, really love on your edges, okay? We talk about the ends so much and how we can baby our ends, but baby your edges too. Take some time to moisturize your edges, okay? Like literally, like, and moisturize them, especially since the elasticity is so low on our hair and we put so much tension on our edges, we need to be showing it extra TLC. On top of that, do some nightly massages on your scalp. And if nightly is too much for you, maybe a few times a week, you know, where you take some 
castor oil, peppermint, jojoba oil, things like that, you know, and just massage your scalp. If you don't want to do it yourself, you like electronic scalp massage, whatever you want to do, but really TLC, baby, 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 baby your edges, okay? Because that's going to help tremendously, not only with prevention, but even if you currently have damage, that can help with solutions as well. Speaking of damage, if you do have like follicle damage, like something a little bit more serious, then you may want to connect with a local dermatologist or your local trichologist to really look at what's going on specifically with your scalp and your hair. All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this quick video on your scalp health. Hope you guys found it extremely helpful. Of course, I have a question for you. Based off of the information here, I want to know if you can rate your scalp from a one to three, three being like optimum health, one being uh, no. Uh, what would that number be from one to three? And if it's a three, share below that it's a three, but let me know what are you currently doing for your scalp that you are seeing that is helpful for you. And maybe you're not doing anything and just say, girl, it's a three and I ain't doing nothing. But if it's a one, what are some things you plan to take from this video to help to implement and put into your regimen so you can start seeing results as well? So comment below, let me know, and I cannot wait to join the conversation with you. And if you like this video, be sure to like this video to stay in the loop for more Coley Chemistry content. Be sure to subscribe, make sure notifications are on so you do not miss a beat of this channel. And if you're interested in learning more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry and what's actually inside of your products, be sure to check out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients. I have a link below for you for more information. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are on the world, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have a link below for you with more information as well. All right, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.